Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fight against the coronavirus using something called uh, protein folding. So this is work that we can do with our CPUs and GPUs, and it helps um, scientists with uh, protein folding, which then helps them find cures for many uh, common diseases, such as Alzheimer's. Um, but also right now, one of the things that they're focusing on is this um, coronavirus, which has obviously affected all of us um, around the world. In addition to that, what I'm also going to show you is also how you can mine at the same time, uh, you can mine a Cure Coin, and this is a project that's been going around it's been since 2014, um, but it's kind of been flying under the radar. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get started with all of this in this video and help put your uh, CPUs and GPUs um, to work, help fight the coronavirus, and also maybe you can earn a little bit of income at the same time. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to start here on our Windows uh, desktop. I'm going to start with the Brave uh, browser. So let's get that open and running. So the first thing that we want to do download is the Folding at Home uh, client. So you just go to the website, I'll put the links in the video description, same as always, and then go to Start Folding Now, and then you can download the client. So click on Download Client. So the current version is 7.5.1. There's also uh, Linux and Mac versions available as well. So even if you're not on a Windows machine, you can also get started with um, any of your other hardware. And that's already downloaded. So now we want to go to our downloads folder. double click on the executable and go through your normal installation process. I'm just going to go with the Express install. Let's get that going. Okay, so it's already checked to start folding at home. So we're going to click finish and it will start the program uh, automatically. So there's kind of two parts to this application. There's kind of like the web browser side and there's also the, um, the desktop client or will actually run in your system tray. So you can see here, there's kind of like a, a bug and it happens with Brave Browser and Chrome Browser. So if this happens to you, basically the screen, the Folding at Home screen just keeps on refreshing like this. Uh, what you need to do is just copy this address, which is client.foldingathome.org and then just open it up in your uh, Firefox browser or a different browser and you should find that you don't have the same issue with it. So I'll just close that page on Brave. Um, and you should see that it yeah it loads up like this so it's like a chrome and brave uh, glitch there's a different way you can manage it and i'll show you that in a second as well so what you want to do is you if you just want to get started and help the calls uh, which is uh, fighting against diseases including the coronavirus you can just fold anonymously and you just basically select the folder as uh, anonymous start folding and then it will start automatically i'll go into a few more of the details uh, the settings and stuff um in a little bit more detail. Um, but for you guys that kind of like want to earn some credits and also earn CureCoin, there's a little bit more involved in it. So I'm gonna take you through that process as well. There's also a crypto and gaming mining team. So if you don't want to earn the CureCoin, but you maybe just wanna kind of get some recognition for um, being involved with the crypto community and gaming, and there's a different team for that as well. So I'm sorry, there's kind of like three different parts. So uh, just to quickly recover or recap those, you can uh, go down a completely anonymous route, you can join the crypto uh, team, or you can go and join the CureCoin team and earn CureCoins as well. So three different options uh, for you. So in this one, I'll be showing you how to um, set up for the team, the crypto team, and also the CureCoin team. So if you wanna go to setup and identity, and uh, click on start folding. So you need to pick a name. So I'm gonna use Risky Fire. So name that I use. So the team name here you can put in, if you just want to join the crypto team, so this is people like uh, Bits Be Tripping and many other crypto miners and gamers, you'll know and recognize all the, all the names in the team list. Um, and also myself a little bit, I'll be in there also. You just enter this team name here. Oh, not that. Their team name, let's copy that. So it's 236961, enter that as your team number and then click save, and then that's all the details that you need to get started. If you just want to mine and get started and help contribute into the team, um, and that's basically it, click save. For you guys that want to do the CureCoin mining, it's a, a slightly more complicated process, and I'll take you through that now. 
So the team that you want to join for the queue coin is 224497. You're going to paste that. And you're also going to need a pass key. So you click on pass key, it'll open up a new link and it will take you to here. So here you need to enter your same name, same username, maybe museum, and also your email address and then click get pass key. It'll take about five minutes and then a pass key will be emailed to you. It's like a long string of about 20 characters and numbers. Um, and then once you have that pass key, you want to paste that into this box here. So I just need to get my pass key now actually. So you just paste your pass key uh, into there and then click on save. So just double check, you've got your username, team number and pass key and save. So at this point, the folding at home uh, part is, is ready to mine and get started on there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just for a moment, I'm just gonna click on stop folding uh, because I wanna set up the cure coin uh, aspect of this. And there's a few other details that you need to do. So to get started with the cure coin, you want to go to cryptobullionpools.com and then go to register. And then here we've got some registration uh, details. So you want to add in your folding at home username, QCon wallet address. So let's get that now as well. So that's over here. Click on that, it opens up a GitHub uh, link. And then I'm gonna download, I'm gonna get the one with the blockchain included. Um, you should be able to just use the QT wallet uh, without the blockchain, it should give you address, but I'm not 100% sure it's the first time I'm using it. So for simplicity, I'm gonna get the one with the blockchain and then that way, Hopefully it should speed up the process. Okay, so the CureCoin wallet has downloaded. Let's install this now. Just Windows Defender, so it was allow access. Minimize the browser. Okay, so it looks like our oh, wallet's already running. It's gone straight down into the system tray. Okay, so that's popped open now. Right, so we should now be able to uh, generate a receiving address. So if you go to receive coins from the Cure Coin wallet, and we've already got a an address here, so I'll just use this one. So you want to copy the address. Now if you go back to the browser for the registration and paste in our wallet address now. Uh, generate a password. It says uh, optional email. Um, I'll leave those uh, blank a pin number I guess that's for maybe uh, withdrawals and such and then there's the uh, capture phrase so we should be able to register now ah oh, I knew that I was going to do that it's because I've been on this page for so long Right, let's do this again quickly. Okay, cool. So now we've been registered, so now we can uh, log in. So again, Oh, sorry, I also forgot to mention, make sure you use the same uh, username as you are using for folding at home, as you are for the registration here. Doesn't have to be the same password, but the same username. OK, 
okay and login okay so we're in we've just got started and so this is the dashboard for the cure coin part at the moment we've got um, no earnings, no balance, no nothing, because it's the first time that I'm doing it. Obviously, just to show you the whole um, experience of exactly how you get started. So from this point onwards, uh, let's go back to um, the folder at home uh, client. And like I say, so there's two ways you can manage it. So you can manage it from your browser interface, which is like this. But like I say, it seems to work best with Firefox or Internet Explorer, uh, Brave or Chrome. You might have uh, refreshing problems. Um, so there's this way to manage it, and there's also from the system tray, you've got this uh, control app. So if you right click this, you should get the option to open up the web control. Although for me, it seems a little bit slow, I think, because I'm recording at the same time. Yep, and then you can open up this advanced control. So from the advanced control, you can do all, all of the same things, basically. So you can see here, it's currently paused. We've got, make it a little bit bigger for you guys. And we've got our CPU and any GPUs that you've got. Um, for some reason in this particular machine, I've got a GTX 1080 Ti, um, but the folding at home will not start any uh, GPU work for me. I've tested it on other machines and it works fine, but on this particular machine, it will only do CPU work, it won't do any GPU work. Don't know why, I've looked into it, I can't can't find the uh, the reason why, but uh, that's that's my experience with it. But anyway, so what you want to do is, it's currently paused and we want to set it to fold. So it basically makes them both active. What will happen from here, it will uh, connect to the server on a regular basis, check see if there's any work to be completed. If there is, it will download the work and it will start the work and then it will run that period of work until it's completed. Once it's completed, it sends the work back or it sends it in batches and then it will look again and it will start again. So you've got this folding power option, light, medium, or full. You can also change the settings to make it only work when it's uh, when your machine is idle for a certain amount of time. You can uh, do it so that you can, if you go to preferences, uh, no, sorry, not preferences, the configuration, you can change your slots so you can remove the GPU or remove the CPU if you just want to focus on one particular uh, piece of hardware rather than just both by default. And it runs uh, from there. So that's pretty much it, that should get you up and running. I can't really say uh, in terms of earnings, I know CureCoin only has like a market cap of 1.5 million, so the earnings are not gonna be uh, massive or anything like that. The only other thing that I will say is that on uh, when I've been doing my testing, my experience, I've been able to CPU mine at the same time as also running the folding at home miner. Obviously the, the, the workload is gonna be split 50-50, but I was getting pretty much full CPU performance whilst completing folding at home uh, workloads. So you might want to experiment and try uh, with that for yourselves. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. It's quite a long-winded and complicated video, lots of separate bits, but hopefully you guys can get up and started uh, with doing that. Let me know your results. And um, yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully it's been helpful to you. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.